Opening the polls. The polls open at 7 a.m. on election day. Before voters start voting at 7 a.m., there are several key tasks to complete. First, if the chairperson was not sworn in prior to election day, an election inspector should administer the chairperson oath found in the front of the poll book. And both the chairperson and the person administering the oath should sign. Next, the chairperson should give the oath to all election inspectors. Once everyone has been sworn in, it's time to prepare the polling place. Some local clerks can prepare a polling place before an election more than others. Your tasks may vary. Remember, a minimum of three inspectors must be present at all times, with at least one from each major political party. Precinct setup is important. Ensure tables and chairs and the stations they represent are placed in a manner that allows for an orderly flow through the process and include the appropriate supplies. When possible, we recommend using one door to enter, setting up tables in a U-shape, and having voters exit out a different door. Generally, the first station a voter goes to is one where they can complete the application to vote. Make sure this station is the logical first step for the voter and has applications to vote and pens. The next station should be the e-poll book and ballot issuance station. Make sure the e-poll book is set up so it can be plugged in all day and ensure the cord is not a tripping hazard. Use the EPB election inspector manual to properly prepare the laptop for use. Ballots, secrecy sleeves, and demonstration pads are necessary supplies. The voting booths and voter assist terminal should be set up in a manner that ensures voter privacy. There should always be at least one sit-down booth for voters in addition to the voter assist terminal. Each booth should have a blue or black ink pen for voter use and be checked throughout the day to verify no campaign material was left behind. A station that is near the tabulator should also be set up to collect secrecy sleeves and keep the rejected ballot scripts within easy reach. Don't forget the I Voted stickers! A public area should also be set up. This provides a place for observation without disrupting the process. If using the U-shape setup, the top of the U is a good place for the public area. Some jurisdictions also utilize a help desk or greeting station. Follow instructions from your local clerk. Many things need to be displayed in the precinct and easily visible to voters. They include a flag of the United States inside or outside, vote here direction signage, including clearly marking the accessible entrance and path, sample ballots, two election day voter information posters, Proposal language posters when applicable. Preparing the electronic equipment for use. There are three types of voting equipment used throughout the state. Please consult the appropriate manuals for detailed opening instructions. When preparing the tabulator and voter assist terminal for use, the following must be completed. One, verify the serial and seal numbers on the equipment with the clerk's preparation certificate on the front of the poll book. When completing this step, you are ensuring nothing has happened to the equipment since the Election Commission completed the public accuracy test. 2. Complete all preparation steps required of the equipment. If any issues are encountered, contact your local clerk immediately. It's important to note that every tabulator has an emergency bin. In the event of a tabulator failure, voting should continue. Open the emergency bin and have voters deposit their voted ballots inside. 3. Compare a sample ballot with the tabulator zero tape. Verify you have the correct precinct. All candidates' names appear on both the tape and the ballot. Vote totals on the tape are all zeros. 
the zero tape should not be removed from the machine and should be signed by all election inspectors present. If any issues are encountered, contact your clerk immediately. Once all these steps are complete, sign the certifying preparation certificate in the poll book. At 7 a.m., announce the opening of the polls by declaring the polls are now open. Thank you for watching. 